Hi everyone, welcome to another video in BIM in-depth series. Today we will discuss how BIM wallets create transactions using the system that's called SBBS. As you know, BIM uses the Mimblewimble protocol, which enables the unique combination of confidentiality and scalability. One of the key differences of Mimblewimble is interactivity, which means that Unlike Bitcoin and most other cryptocurrencies, both sender and the receiver wallets have to participate in the creation of the transaction. In general, one round trip is required, usually initiated from the sender to the receiver and then back again, after which the sender can create a transaction and send it to the node where it is mined and added to the blockchain. In order to simplify the process of creating a transaction, BIM has developed a system called SBBS, which stands for the Secure Bulletin Board System. SBBS is built into each BIM node and is generally the centralized encrypted messaging system that allows BIM wallets to communicate with one another during the process of transaction creation. The process starts with the creation of private and public key pair. The public part is called an address and it is sent to the other wallet using any third party channel. This address is then used to sign a message, encrypt it and send it to the SBBS message pool where it is combined together with other messages. The receiver wallet then pulls the bulk of messages from the SBBS and uses the private key that is only known to this wallet to find the messages that were addressed to it, decrypt them and use them to create a transaction. To optimize the process, the messages are subdivided into channels and the channel ID is actually a part of the address. Each message lives within the SBBS system for 12 hours, after which it is discarded. In addition to that, the wallet stops listening to this private address after 24 hours in order to make the system more secure and reliable and thus the public address now becomes obsolete and kind of expires, which is indicated in the wallet. While sending the message, the sender also needs to add the proof of work for each SBBS message to prevent abuse and spamming of the system. Currently, SBBS system has two key limitations. First, the wallet doesn't know that the SBBS message was sent and hence doesn't know when to go online. And also, it has to be online within 12 hours of message being sent to be able to get it, process it and send the response. This year, we're planning to make the system simpler and even more usable than now by adding several new features. First of all, the Trustless Water Service will allow running some of the SBS functionality on a remote service, which will be always online and will be able to receive messages at all times and hence simplify the process of wallet-to-wallet -wallet communication. In addition to that, the desktop wallet will also be given a daemon that will be able to run even when the wallet itself is off, to be able to receive SBBS messages, notify the user, and even send push notifications to mobile clients. Also, the addition of Lilantus will enable direct payments which is a version of one side payments that will allow to send funds without requiring an interaction for the from the receiving wallet. To learn more about Beam, subscribe to our channel where we will publish a new in-depth video every week. Thank you very much for watching, join our communities and have a great day.